All right, guys. You can see here, we're trying to get back into the game. We've been busy here. Max is back, everybody's back. We got a 24 inch red line cruiser here. So customer brought it in and it was the bike that we've been working on. We worked on in the past, but if you look at it, gentleman wants to freshen it up. Look at the kinks in the rims, flat spots. It's all damaged. How this sells really clean. So a customer wants to put new rims on. So we are gonna go ahead and we're going to upgrade it to some Odyssey hazards. Now, some of you guys might get a little bit sensitive and go, you know what, it doesn't hit the, the correct era. But that's not what the customer wanted. The customer wanted a, a reliable good bike so he could cruise. So the Odyssey hazard, I would say probably one of the better 24 inch, if not the best rims out there. So we're gonna relace it up. Some of you guys once in a while ask, hey, you know, can I use the old spokes? I took it apart, I look at the spokes. Normally I don't, but the spokes pretty healthy. It's pretty good, it's stainless. So we're gonna go ahead and reuse it. We're gonna go and clean all this. But the frame is rough, guys. Look at all this. He rides a lot at the beach. He's not one of those wall hanger bikes. He doesn't go to show, try to win a award. He just, he just wants a badass bike. He's had this thing since like, like the, uh, the early 2000s. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna go through it. We're gonna prep this. We're not trying to restore it. Basically kind of do uh, like a, ma a major tune up, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna continue taking the wheels off and we're gonna relace it first to get it out of the way. I'm gonna clean the hub and we're gonna start on the bike. Follow me guys. So you guys can see, got this little fancy tool here. It's a nipple driver is what we call it. I don't know what some of you guys call that, but I'm just kind of unscrewing this. We're not gonna save those nipples, but I just don't want it on the ground because I'm gonna slip. Basically unscrewing the whole thing, dismantling, and I'm gonna start cleaning up all the spokes. Clean up everything. Riding bikes, especially BMX, is a pretty dangerous hobby. But did you know that you could recover millions of dollars for your injuries? Morgan & Morgan is the leading firm in the nation that's recovered billions of dollars for their clients. So they're not afraid to go to bat for you to get you the compensation that you need. Just recently, they've recovered $3 million in Florida, $1.75 million in California, and a million dollars in Georgia for their bicycle clients. It's super easy to find out, it's free, and you don't have to pay a single dollar if they don't win. All you have to do today is go to justforthepeople.com slash Alfredo Mancuso and in eight simple clicks, you're going to find out if you're eligible. You can also dial pound law on your cell phone and find out that way today. All right, now that we got the wheels taken apart, here's the spokes, guys. Clean up pretty well. Okay, they're stainless. How do I know stainless? Let's put on the magnet and look, it's not sticking. So it's stainless. If it wasn't stainless high tin, it would stick. So I like to keep all this thing together because I don't want to lose it. And as I'm cleaning it up, I'm going to take it apart. I love it. I love it when you guys, I, I'm, when I say I love it, I mean it in a joking way. That you guys completely dismantle everything. You guys bring a box full park. Oh, I forgot I put it back together. Well, look, I'm keeping this side together. I'm taking this side out because why? Watch, I'm going to clean this. And look, I'm not using any special solvent. I'm not using any special cleaner. All I'm doing is I'm taking a cloth and I'm gonna wipe this thing down just to give you an idea. Look at that. And look at that. Look how clean that is. Look at all the bearings. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna clean out this whole thing. Look. Look at that. I'm gonna stick this through here. And look at that. Go do it again. But look, look how clean it is. See? So all the, that's that's all you have to do, guys. You know, I, I hear you guys on, on like uh, Facebook. I read a lot of the comments. You know, I troll around there, see what people do, see what I can help. And I see people, oh, you gotta use this clean. No, no. Just wipe all this away. Wipe all of this away. This, all this is, is just, just build up uh, oil that you guys over oiled. But you see like there's grime on here on the bolt. Oh, on this gem nut, see how that look? It doesn't wipe off. I'm using my fingernail underneath this, and there you go, all gone. You don't need anything special, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna clean this. I'm gonna clean this front one, and we'll get back. Look how clean that is. Look at the bearings, nuts, rear, really clean. Spokes are all cleaned up. Chain tension is all cleaned up, and we got. 
Cock, shit cocks build, special nipples. And we're gonna go ahead, start putting this. Put it together with some modern day strength. The customary rides, rides the bike a lot at the beach. And I can't stress you guys more, at the beach, there's actually like salty mist flying in the air. That's why all of it's all in the front and not, not all around here because the salt settle on here and then they don't wipe it down. It start rusting. But guys, you notice how I scrape a little bit of it? This is surface rust. Now, you guys know the old school aluminum foil finish. Just crumble it up, okay? This is just, this is just cleaner. You know, just like WD-40 but in liquid form. Now watch. Okay, Max, grab me the rag. Okay, this. There you gotta go. It's not, it's not perfect, but you know what? For something so cheap, something so simple, it does the job. Remember guys, we're not restoring. You know, we're just kind of like doing an overhaul on it. I'm not gonna even take apart the whole thing if it's not needed. The bearing itself is very smooth, very snug. Of course, if the customer requests it, I can't do it. But with everything, there there is a level of how much it wants to be done. And this the customer goes, you know what? Low budget, I want to do it simple and fast. So we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing this whole thing, okay? I'm not sure if you guys can tell through the lens, but it's a lot better. Now remember, I don't care to hear you guys, oh, you know, that's, look, this is just simple aluminum foil, some WD-40, and an old t-shirt. Okay, we clean up all the grease here. That's it, guys, simple, nothing major. All right, if you guys look at this, this is the bottom side of the the, the frame. And you know what, it's, it's somewhat smooth. There's a lot of gunk right here, but it's solid. So if the customer want, I'll take it apart to do a bigger overall, but I don't think it's necessary for the budget he's on. So I'm gonna to try to clean as much as possible. Again, you got, you know what you guys are always, oh, WD, no, WD-40 is a really good degreaser. It's not sitting there, see that? It just melts it away. Now, I'm not using WD-40 as a lube, using it as a degreaser. Okay, this is not going into the bearing, guys. This is only on the outside. It is. Look at this, guys. Just the old toothbrush again. Look at that, and then look at that. Okay, you see this? There's just very, very little solvent on here, guys. Not a lot. Okay. That's it. Nothing special. Okay, we're getting all this in. Some fresh new thing, you can see. You got the wheel master over there. Blazing out, blazing out right there. Blazing his wheels out. Hey, Ethan. Yep. What's the fastest you, uh, you build wheel? Three minutes. No, really, come on. I'd say like 15. Gonna have to come find out, get a wheel built by me. I would say the fastest I've ever seen him do it. Now that's including cutting, using the fill wood uh, spoke cutter right there. So he's cutting custom spokes and lacing up. I the fastest I do was under 20 minutes. True. That's pretty. That's pretty fast, guys. The man can lace. Laced up. Laced up. Laced up. What, what's that mean? What's that mean? Lace. You say you're a lacist. No, I'm a lacist. Are you a lacist? No, I'm a lacer. All right, guys, so you guys can see the bike is all wiped down. Okay, now, if air mask, come in, come in, come in closer. These are all scuffs, guys. This is not, this is not dirt, okay? You look inside, it's, I clean it to the best I can. Look at the chain, it's all cleaned down. So now after I get rid of all the dirt, all the grime, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through it and we're just gonna oil everything up. Starting at the brake lever, I'm gonna put it inside the joints right here then after that I'm gonna go down here there's a little crack right here as soon as you see th this thing goes it's gonna just it disappears it's going in okay then you come over here you look at this thing right here you just pull this apart and then pull this thing down 
See how you, you just slide that? We're gonna put some oil right here. Watch, it's gonna go inside the cable. This one, I like to give it a little bit more because I'll wipe it down. Kind of run along the cable here. He's got, he's got his rubber band things on here and all that. Okay, we're gonna slide this back up. Already, when I'm sliding this, I can already feel it's smoother. See, it's like this. All you do is pull this thing out right here, slide it down. Look, pull this back, see that? So oil right here, and run it back here, put this all back in, and that's it right there. Okay, the oil's all in. Ethan's finishing. Ethan's actually already finished with the other wheel. All this is all good, smooth. And I said, now all we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna mount the tires onto the new wheels, and the bike is gonna feel as close to new as possible. Okay, guys, just in case you guys are curious, this is the new wheel right here. Straight. The liner in here is actually just electrical tape. We've been using it since day one, 24 years in the business. We're still using it. I use electrical tape instead of duct tape or anything else because it doesn't gum up. Some of you might go, oh, why don't you just use rim tape? Rim tape costs a lot, customer doesn't want to pay for it. This works just fine. This is the original. It doesn't cover it too wide, so this is better. The Max is, Max Daddy, perfect for this. I like it, I like, I like this rim on here. And he's gonna be able to ride it, jump, do all that, and not, not have to worry about the flimsy wheel. Even though his last one, you look at his last one, it's, it's single wall, it held up pretty good, but this one should hold up a lot better. Let's ride, dude. Anybody want to thumb wrestle? Here, thumb wrestle. Look at this. Look at this. Ow, ow. Okay, okay. All right. Tighten this thing up. What do you guys think? The new, the new rim looks good, huh? Oh damn! The chain check. Looks brand new. See guys, that's what I was trying to tell you guys. Some of this stuff, holy cow. It's just greasy. It's just, look, your hands, your hands are even clean. They're like yeah. nice grease. So that's why a lot, good, good a lot of times you guys just think like, things need to be thrown away. This is the old free wheel, guys. Looks very Look at used. this. Okay, yeah, it's not the best brand, but you know it works. Look at this wheel, look at all this. Super clean. I think that is the best brand. You know why? Because it costs as much as your lunch and you could ride like 5,000 miles on it before you need a new one. <laughs> there so, you go. To me, that's the best. Look at this. The Beyblade. It's all good. There it is. Just a low budget rebuild. Mainly what we did was we relaced the wheels. We got Odyssey Hazard rims, 24 inch. S same spokes, guys. Look into this. This is the same spokes. All we did was clean it. Put new nipples on it, clean the hub. Got all the rust and stuff off. Original chain, just cleaned it. Here's the back wheel. So guys, the only thing that we put new on this bike yeah, is cool. the rim. Everything else has been just clean. One rag, clean, and rebuild. Oh no, I lied. The nipples are new. The nipples are new. So that just goes to show to you guys that sometimes the bike has been aged, has been used. You can still salvage a lot of the stuff. And a lot of you guys, like, I don't know, you guys just won the lottery or something. You guys say, oh yeah, no, 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 no. If you guys really know us and you guys are local here, a lot of times I try to stop you guys from spending the extra money if you guys could use the old stuff. And this is just proof of it. That we, we salvage a lot of the old stuff and just clean a lot of it. Bike, look at this. Old brake pads. Checked it out. The brake pad was not hardened from the sun. It was still soft. Rim straight. Brake cable is all looped up. Look at this. Look at the details. The ins and out. It's like a brand new wheel. Some of the stuff that you guys probably gonna see is the seat post, it is backward. Now, backward, forward, not really because the rider, he likes to sit a little bit more forward, so he turned that around. The, the handlebar, I am going to suggest this handlebar. Come here, Max, come over here, come here. 
Follow me, follow me, kid. I got one of these left. They're the DK Ch Chamberlain bar. I'm gonna suggest this to him because why? Because you, some of you guys know the old school red line bars. It is that little V. I don't have chrome. Chrome would look dope on it, but I'm gonna suggest it to the customer. If not, then I'll try to hunt him down the chrome one. Then that bike, I think, in my opinion, would be perfect. What do you guys think? That's a wrap. Really, I'm really happy that you guys still still checking in here and there to make sure we're still, we're, we, we haven't quit. Okay, we haven't quit. Uh, this is fun. I love meeting some of you guys that's been visiting me. Uh, I, read, I read a lot of the comments. I don't read all because I just don't have the time. But we're trying. We're trying as much as we can. It's been, I wouldn't say when I say rough, that doesn't mean bad. Rough because Max's been on the road, Ethan's been on the road, uh, and so there's nobody here to help me film. So Max is back until whoever knows what. We're gonna try to get back on track. We got a bunch of ideas already we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. Um, look at that CW I just got, guys. I just acquired the CW right here. This thing right here, besides the tire, is 100% original, untouched on anything. I'm gonna do a little kind of walkthrough in this thing in the next video, okay? So guys, comment in, don't say anything nasty, uh, subscribe, and you know, keep reaching out with some questions, okay guys? I'll, I'll get some more on here soon.